So I was there at the very beginning, the first seed of the idea for Life is Living. It happened between Mark Babuti Joseph and I on an airplane headed to Portland. And we were thinking about the ways in which Portland has invested in agriculture, sustainability, uh, the lives and the value of their people. And we're trying to figure out a way to make it marketable, sustainable, and relevant to our community here. So we're like, we have to do a festival. I pleaded for the festival to happen in my neighborhood here in West Oakland. I grew up in this park. Uh, I grew up just a couple blocks away. The first things in the park were most deaf in the graffiti battle, and they were the kind of cornerstones of the event. So I've been here since the very first everything. I, I was the one who came up with the plan and ordered porta potties and talked to Miss Jackie in the house. Um, yeah. I was this was this is this festival is one of my babies if not my true baby and, and I'm so proud that at 11 years going into 11 years now we have such community investment and buy-in the zones get bigger and bigger what Delina does with the dance bringing my community from Malanga here what K-Dub does with the skate park and making sure that the young people who live in this neighborhood and use the skate park every single day are included in the festival those are the things that really bring a smile to my face. I think that the significance of hosting um, such a prodigious event um, dedicated primarily to black and brown life in Little Bobby Hutton Park is important not only because of its historical connection to the Panthers, but also because Oakland is becoming another urban landscape of displacement. So much of the blood memory is literally leaving the city. So it becomes ground zero for institutional memory and for a legacy of resistance. We selected this park partly because of our personal relationship to it and also because we understood the legacy of this park in relation to the Black Panther Party. But we also felt honored to, to help carry uh, the legacy of what the Panthers have done for our city. It's important for us to realize that what we've done here in Oakland lives beyond Oakland that the experience that we've been able to create frameworks around here, we've been able to uh, facilitate those experiences, share them, kind of export the greatness of Oakland to other cities around the United States. We're celebrating what sustains life in our community, in the, the city of Oakland, in the town. Um, and so this festival is an example of our resiliency, of our power, um, of our connectedness, um, and of all of the magic that comes with uh, being black people. Life is Living to me is um, a space where we can come and be exactly who we are every day of the year, but in the highest sense and to the, uh, to, in the fullest expression. It's a reminder that while we're here, while we have breath, that we should honor and, and, and embrace life. I should. I grew up here in Oakland and this is by far one of the best events. Um, I've had the pleasure to, to not only attend but be a part of and I feel like this is super like representative of what Oakland is. Um, is extremely important for not just the history of Oakland but for a lot of people here of color here um, in this community. It's, it's, it's just it's huge. Life is Living to me means community. It means an unbelievable amount of people coming together to make something happen that seems impossible and is impossible with any just one of us. But with our collective, we are able to pull off so much and honor the people before us, honor the babies, and honor West Oakland. Life is Living is about the coming together of people of color to uh, share cultures and to advance ourselves and to spread positivity and to really celebrate the life and the beauty that we have here in Oakland. I grew up at Life is Living. The, I was at the very first one in Oakland when Most Deaf was here and it's just great to see how the festival has grown and how all the people who come every year have grown and how I've grown and yeah, it's very lit. I love this place. We really need to be able to enjoy the brotherhood, the sisterhood, the community that uh, Oakland has. And, you know, to be able to get on stage and express yourself in your art form with all these amazing artists that come out of Oakland is always a divine blessing. 
I love Life is Living because they try to bridge that gap a little bit. Like they offer the free breakfast, wellness programs, uh, like tons of kids activity and social justice information. And um, so it's, it's crucially important that we organize and that we come together. It's really important to celebrate the heroes and the people who have the strength to make a declaration to say, hey, we're going to put our stake in the ground. We're going to take responsibility for our communities, and this is how it's going to look. I'm sorry, you represent the Bay Area makes the noise right now. It's all about bringing really intelligent, beautiful people who live and work in Oakland um, together for the community benefit. Some of my best memories are when uh, Brett Cook put up these murals. Those live murals being painted here at this park, it was really special, a uh, really joyful experience. I always, always love looking also at the uh, what's going on at Town Park and the skate park because there's always like incredible energy there. After that first festival, I saw a pride in this park that hadn't existed in West Oakland before. So I think my favorite thing about Life is Living is the ongoing effort of making sure the Defermery or Little Bobby Hutton Park remains a tool for the community. That's my favorite part. Oh, are you ready to take it higher? Let's go one more again, one more time. Rewind, select the please. Thousands of people come through annually, but hundreds of partners come through not just here in Oakland, but around the country to really contemplate and celebrate and perform an affinity for life.